this is a slip stitch pattern um, called Fleur de Lis, and it's worked with three colors, and uh, it's one of my favorites. Now, in the magazine, I'm doing two different colorways. I'm doing this kind of Mardi Gras colorway, and it's not exact Mardi Gras colors, it's an impression of Mardi Gras colors, and the other one is grays. And it's going to be easier to see what I'm doing on these lighter colors, so I'll be doing all of the demonstration. This is the cuff for one of the mittens. And <clears throat> George, don't. My cat's there, sorry. Um, I am generally the last person in the world to advocate carrying yarn up the side, but the exception, one of the exceptions, is slip stitch patterns. And when you carry the yarn up the side, you get this nice little edge stitch. You can see that I'm kind of wraps around. And I happen to want this look on my mittens and hat because uh, it overlaps and I think that's going to be a nice edge. Now to get that, notice that I have my three colors here. And this slip stitch pattern gets to be very intuitive after a while. Uh, what color am I using next? Well, duh, I'm using purple because it's one on the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up behind the other two colors and I'm going to work my next stitch in purple. And I am going to pull it quite tight because that's what's going to give me this nice little uh, edge here. I'm going to work my first two stitches quite tight. And am I worried about the green being kind of loose? No, because when I work the green again, I'm going to be pulling that up. Now, I have this pattern memorized now, and I know that I am slipping this stitch, and I'm bringing my yarn from behind. One, two, three. And this is really one of the easiest slip stitch patterns in the world. Yarn behind, slip it purlwise. Generally, you always slip these things purlwise in slip stitch patterns. Otherwise, the stitch will be twisted. And that is really all there is to it. Now, when I get to the other side, and this is 58 stitches here for the cuff, so you get to watch me work 58 stitches. Because <clears throat> I want to show you what happens when you turn it. You just work to the end, work to the end. And notice that I'm just slipping those stitches pearlwise with the yarn in the back. And I try not to strangle that yarn when I uh, strangle these two stitches on the other side of the slip stitch. That would not be a very pretty effect. Ugh. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. I knit so funny. Yeah, maybe I'll try it that way. Slip, because this isn't very wide. Although it's interesting, I watched recently the BBC, you know, or PBS Miss Marples, and they had three different Miss Marples over time, and all of them knit like me hold it the same way and these women could really knit the actresses so that was kind of interesting for me to see all right and I'm almost done here and I worked the last three stitches now when you turn on the wrong side rows of slip stitch patterns generally <clears throat> there might be slightly different instructions and I'm going to knit and I'm going to pull fairly tight when I begin my new row. Now this time when I slip because I don't want the yarn on the front I bring my yarn forward I slip and then I knit and that's what's going to give me those nice little fleur de -lis on the front. Pull it in the front, slip and there we go. That's all there is to it and wrong side rows are generally quite easy because you're just knitting and you're slipping the stitch that was already stitched, slipped, because it's a different color, you can recognize it. And that's pretty much all there is to this pattern.